All right, so if somebody gave you this equation, 7, 19, 39, 67, you could do your difference table. Uh, there's a difference of 12 here, a distance, or a difference of 20 there, and a distance, or a difference of 28 there. So the first difference is not the same, which tells me this is not a linear sequence. But if I look at the second difference, now I can see, oh, there's a difference of 8. So again, pretty simple. I know I'm going to have some sort of n squared in my sequence. And if I bring this number over to be the first one, I can take half of that, and I can put a 4 in there. So now I just have to find the very first number. So something has to go here so that the difference would be 8. Well, that has to be a 4. And then something has to go here, so the difference between those two numbers would be the 4, and so that would be a 3 here. So that can just be my starting point there. And if you, you, you should double check that, plug in your 1, your 2, your 3, your 4, make sure it's generating the sequence. All right, so some recursive sequences and factorials. So remember, a factorial is something like six with the exclamation point. So right down here is the definition of it. But remember on the calculator, you're gonna go into math. So hit the math button, slide over to what's called the number uh, complex probabilities. And if you see number four has an exclamation point. So I want to do something like six, math, slide over to the probability menu, number four. So you want your number, then the exclamation point, and it'll tell you 720. So first example, write the first five terms, no more, no less. So the idea is I already have a sub one. That's three. So now if I want to find a sub two, I'm supposed to take two times, remember our n value is one, so what's two minus one? It's a sub one, so basically what you're doing is two times your very last answer plus one. And when I do this, I get six plus one, which is seven. And then I do my a sub three. So again, this would be two times my very last answer. This is what the recursive this recursive notation means. Always take your last answer and do what it's telling you to do. So we're multiplying by two. So we're gonna take our seven and plug it in there and add one. So now I get 14 plus one is 15. And then a sub four, two times 15 plus one. So that's 31. So a sub three was 15. A sub four was 31. And then our our last one would be a sub 5. After this, we're done. So that's 31. So 2 times 31 is 62, plus 1 is 63. There are your first five terms of this recursive equation. Now the idea is, recursive, this is always set, right now it's called 1 behind. So if you want to get to the next answer, take the answer 1 behind you, multiply by two and add one. So you're gonna have a, a short DIY here. Write the first five terms, go take the Moodle quiz, put your answers in.